everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to build a flying machine that is vertical, horizontal, and also doesn't swap blocks. Now, what I mean by that is, if you're playing on Bedrock, the Sticky Pistons can't let go of blocks, so we can't just make a simple flying machine with an Observer block and a Sticky Piston. They are making us jump through hoops to make these things work. So if you're coming from PC, you can build this, but it's going to be a waste of resources because all you really need is an Observer block and a Sticky Piston. So it looks pretty big right here. This is the vertical one. Now, the reason why I made it like this is so you could tile it, and I'll show you that later, but let's just see it working. If I go ahead and update this Observer block right here, it'll start flying into the sky forever. Of course, I got a little obsidian block up there to stop it so that's it going all the way up and then when we want to go down all we have to do is just update this observer block right here and then it'll start going down so that is the entire thing like i said the reason why i made it like this is so we could tile it and make it look a little better so what i mean by that is i made this guy right here and you can make this thing a lot bigger actually but if we go ahead and click this button i have four of them right next to each other to make this really good looking flying machine and the cool thing about this is Yes, it's a lot of resources, but this thing looks like a missile. This thing just looks like a missile going up into the air. And of course it works. You know, you just stand on top of it and go right up all the way to the tip top. And then when you're ready to go down, you know, you just click this button and then it will start going down. So you can make this gigantic missile and maybe you can make like a UFO up top. That was, that's what I was thinking about. You know, make a UFO base. And then have this as the only way into the UFO base. So it looks like a missile is going to hit the UFO. So that is, you know, the vertical one. And now for the horizontal one. Now you can build this one different if you want to make it smaller. Like I said, I just built it this way so you could tile it to make it look like this. Now with the horizontal one, you have to build it this way. You cannot build it any other way. So let's go ahead and get on top of it. And we're going to activate this observer block right here. And we'll start moving across. Now, the reason why we have to build it this way is because I was running into problems going into different chunks. When this thing would go into different chunks, it would actually stop it and then break it. Well, it wouldn't break it, but it would completely stop it. And then you'd have to update the observer block. And then sometimes it still wouldn't go past that chunk. So I made it like this. So it will go right past the chunk without any problems. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video right here because this is going to take a while. And as you can see, we had no problems passing through the chunk that's right in between that door and my other flying machines. And then, of course, if we want to go back, just update this observer block and we'll start heading back. All right, guys, so we're going to start off by building the vertical one right here first. You do not have to make it this long. If you don't want to make a gigantic one that's tiled like that, all you need to know is to make this thing work. You just have to have a piston firing off between the observer block that is activating the sticky piston. What that will do is since the piston is extended, it won't be able to move the slime blocks. So then it will go ahead and then it'll update and then it'll be able to grab it. So as long as you have a piston firing in between these two observer blocks, you can build this thing however you like. But we're gonna go ahead and build this tiled version right here. Now for this build, you're going to need 11 slime blocks and or honey blocks, two pistons, two sticky pistons, and four observer blocks and also an immovable object so it doesn't get stuck so let's quickly go ahead and build this thing so just come up five slime blocks one two three four five or honey blocks and then on the bottom one we're going to place an observer block facing up a piston facing up skip a block place another observer block facing up and then our sticky piston facing up off of that then we're going to take out our slime blocks once again and come up six one two three four five six and i'll just do the exact same thing we did here so first off, we're going to place our sticky piston facing down into this slime block, place an observer block facing down into our sticky piston, skip a block, place in our piston, and then place in our observer block right on top of it. And the reason why I added this extra slime block is in case you want to put a flooring on it so you don't have to see the observer block and slime blocks like that. And that's it, guys. You are completely done with the vertical one. So let's go ahead and just put a obsidian block right here just to stop it. And we can go ahead and test it out. So all we have to do is just update this observer block right here, or we can update the piston. It really doesn't matter. You can update this piston or the observer block and it will fire off. So let's go ahead and just update this observer block. And as you can see, it went all the way to the top without any problems. And then of course, if I break this block right here, just to update it and let it go back down, it goes all the way back down without any problems. There we go. So let me go ahead and add that. So like I said, all you have to do is update either this observer block or this piston right here. Or this piston and this observer block and it will work absolutely fine so now i'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this tileable one right here so it looks 
pretty sweet. <laughs> this thing just looks like a huge missile going into the sky. Now, I'm not going to be digging down into the floor for mine like I did right there. But all you need to do is make it the length of this missile. <laughs> I got to stop calling it a missile, but it really looks like one. So you're going to need at least, you're going to have to dig down at least 11 blocks if you want it to go into the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and number 11. But like I said, I'm just going to build it right on the outside. If you want to put it in the ground, just make sure you dig down 11 blocks. And then when you get down to where you want to put it, just place in four obsidian blocks like that. I'm also not going to be giving the resource list because it's basically four of these put together. So the resources I gave for this one just times it by four, and that's how much you're going to need. So we got we got to build four of these guys right here. So what I like to do is just come up five slime blocks here: one, two, three, four, five. And then we have to interchange it with honey blocks so they don't stick to each other. So come up five right here: one, two, three, four, five. And then do the same thing on this side: one, two, three, four, five. And then slime blocks right here: one, two, th two, three, four, and. Five. Five. And now we just got to build the same exact thing over and over. But before we do that, we have to have some sort of input to activate this thing. So what I like to do is actually put in my input first, just so we don't update one of them. If you update one of them, it's going to get stuck to the other one. And then you have to remove that whole line and then put it back in. And it gets really tedious if you do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove these blocks, place in some redstone right down here. And then my button, I'm just going to place right here for now. Now we're just going to build that pretty much four times so come right here and place in your two observer blocks off the bottom facing up place in your pistons facing up skip a block place in your two observer blocks and then place in your sticky pistons and do the same thing on this side two observer blocks two pistons two observer blocks one block away and then your sticky pistons right on top of that Next up, take out your slime blocks and honey blocks once again, and we're just going to come up six off of all these sticky pistons. So just follow along with your area right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch to your honey blocks for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then once again, onto this side, come up right along the side of it. And same thing with this one with the honey blocks come right up the side of it. Now it's time to place in the inputs for right here. So same thing again, just two sticky pistons facing down. Then place your observer blocks facing down. Skip a block, place in your pistons facing down, and then place in your observer blocks facing down off of those pistons. And do the same thing on this side. Two sticky pistons facing down. Two observer blocks facing down. Two pistons facing down. And two observer blocks facing down right here. Then we can take out our blocks of choice and fill in this top area. You can use whatever colors you like. It's completely up to you. Next up, we have to figure out where this thing is going to stop. So take out an immovable object for all four of these we have to put in. So make sure you're doing it for all four of them. And we're just going to come up. And let's just stop it right about here. That's fine. We're just going <laughs> to... We're not going to go all the way up into the air because then it'll take forever for it to get up there. And then, you know, same thing on this side. We'll just come up. Line it up with those blocks right there. And go ahead and break them. So like I said, you have to put in four of them because each one is its own section. So now we can go ahead and test it and make sure everything is working. So let's click this button right here. That should fire it off. Everything's working absolutely fine. <clears throat> and now once we're up here, we can go ahead and add in, well, whatever you have up in the air. Like I said, it'd be cool to have like a UFO or something like that up here, a UFO base. But we're going to go ahead and now remove obsidian blocks and we're going to replace it with our walling block. Like that. I like to make a three high cabin. There we go. And then let's just place a couple more obsidian blocks up here. Just to be on the safe side. And then right inside of here, we're going to place in our button. So let's go ahead and just put our button in. I like to put it one block in. Just so it doesn't, you know, mess anything up. But I mean, honestly, on Minecraft Bedrock, there's no bud switches. So I don't know why I even bother anymore. <laughs> Back when I used to play, the, you know, the old Xbox, you'd have to be worried about anything updating anything. In this game, nothing updates anything. So we're stuck with building huge things like this. <laughs> so now we just have to hook up our button to activate these pistons right here. Because like I said, as long as you activate the pistons or the observer blocks, it will work. So place two immovable objects right here and then face repeaters going into those pistons. So let's take out our repeaters and face them going right into those pistons. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Two immovable objects, two repeaters facing right into those pistons. Now what we have to do is just connect this line together. So, you know, what, let me use a different color. And we're also going to need an observer block for this as well. So let me get an observer block and a different color. Let's go with 
uh, blue. <laughs> Let's just go with blue. So now what we're going to do is come over here with these blocks. And we have to make it so it can reach up here. So what I like to do right underneath the block that has the button, we're just going to place a sticky piston facing down with an observer block off of it. And then come two blocks underneath it. One, two, actually three. Three blocks underneath it like that. Place your redstone in and now just connect it together. And then, of course, you know, you don't have to do it this way. You could change it up however you like to fit in the redstone so it looks better. Uh, it's completely up to you. But I'm just showing you a little quick way of how I got this thing to work. So we're just going to go like that. Go like that. Connect it all together. And now our down function should be working. So let me go ahead and fix this right here. And now if I click the button, it will start going back down. Next up, we're going to be building the horizontal flying machine. Now, you have to build it this way because it's going through the chunks. You could try to find a different way to make it work. But for me, this was the only way to have it not stop when it's going in between chunks. So we're just going to come right over here and build this thing. So for this build, we are going to need at least eight honey blocks, two pistons, two sticky pistons, four observer blocks, and, you know, some blocks of choice and obsidian just to stop it. And I recommend using the honey blocks because sun blocks can sometimes bounce you. So just, you know, stick with the honey blocks. So right off of our movable object, we're going to go ahead and place in four honey blocks like that. And then we're going to place a piston facing out like this. Next up, take out an observer block, place an observer block facing in. And then place a sticky piston facing out. Then right here on the top corner, we're going to go ahead and place an observer block facing down into that honey block. So now when I activate this, it will activate our pistons. Now we're going to build the same exact thing here on the opposite hand side. So we're gonna start right here in front of this sticky piston, placing four honey blocks. One, two, three, four. Place your sticky piston facing in. Place your observer block facing in towards that sticky piston. And then place a piston facing out. And then right on the top corner, we're gonna go ahead and place our observer block facing down into that honey block. Now you don't have to do this, but I also added a couple blocks right here just to stand on while it's moving. And that's it, guys. You are completely done. Now you don't have to activate it with flint and steel. You could use a button. I just like the idea of using a flint and steel. So let's go ahead and just take out our flint. So now when we click this observer block right here, closest to our immovable object, it will fire off and start moving our flying machine. And now also let's go ahead and not make it go super far because this thing takes forever to reach the other end. So let's go ahead and just stop it right here. That should be fine. And we'll let it stop right there. Perfect. And then, of course, if I hit this one, it will activate it. Now, if you want to use a button instead, all you have to do is just have a button that updates these observer blocks right here. Or again, like I said, you can have them update the pistons as well. So let's quickly just go with a red. Let's just do a redstone lamp and a button. Let's just do a redstone lamp and a button. So button, redstone lamp. Let's place it right here. This is actually going to update it and make it go back. There we go. And then I believe it's right here i kind of want to get, get it before it updates so let's see it should stop right there with it is that perfect please yes perfect okay so now if we place our button and activate boom it will activate just in case you don't want to use the flint and steel but there you guys have it that is the horizontal flying machine and it goes through chunks absolutely fine but there you guys have it. That's how you build a vertical and horizontal two-way flying machine inside of Minecraft that does not use any piston swapping whatsoever. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.